Okay, I'm gonna put the piston rings on. So, show you here how they come from ownerparts.com. We get uh, third groove, second groove, and top groove. Makes it real easy. There's one down. New rings. 10 under crank. On to number two. Okay, hey, here we're taking the crank out. Add it in this bag for a while to keep the light coat of oil on it. Alright, so let's get the crank in here now. Gotta be careful not to ding these journals. The crank will only go in one way. It's keyed in here into the block. So that makes it easy, but you don't want to scratch it. So it's real tight. It's real tight. Be careful when you're putting on the end cap. You gotta make sure that you tap it on with a rubber mallet and then it goes on perfectly flush. And if you don't do that, what'll wind up happening is any little twist or turn in that is going to pinch on your crankshaft and that is going to prevent that from turning. Don't ask me how I know that. So now I've got to measure the end uh, play on the crank which is supposed to be six thousandths to twelve thousandths of an inch so we're going to measure that uh, make sure we're within the specs. Onan instructions say the crank needs to be um, 25 foot-pounds so we'll get that tightened up. Just snug them up right now. Okay, <clears throat> our crank is in here, installed. We have the bearing uh, crank cap um, installed. I gotta put the oil seals on either side. But this is what it looks like. And what we have to measure is the end play. The crank has to be allowed to go back and forth a little bit. And that measurement is between six thousandths of an inch and twelve thousandths of an inch so what we do is we just you know measure between the um, uh, crank and then the side here which is it's not actually a shim but it's a uh, little uh, end plate here so we just gotta stick it in between and this is, this is perfect. Six. Okay, Paige is helping as we're driving this piston back in. Okay, keep going, Paige. So we got both pistons are in and the connecting rod, the whole uh, guts are now, now in there. So uh, the only thing I have yet to do is to put Loctite. I torqued everything down. I have to put Loctite on the, uh, on the threads for the connecting rod so those don't loosen up. But um, tomorrow I'll start uh, putting the bottom oil pan on and then uh, put the oil filter and pump uh, on and then I can start working on the top. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, stay tuned. we got more coming. Thanks a lot. See you guys.